Okay, last thing. I want to have a go at an exam question for you. This is a unit two exam question where you're going to end up solving the quadratic using the quadratic formula. Let's just read out the question, make sure we understand it. Solve the equation, this, give your solutions, plural, to two decimal places. A couple of things to think about. Solutions mean there's more than one. There'll be two. Makes you think it's quadratic. When you look at the thing up here, when you multiply this out, you can imagine you're going to get x squared, so you're thinking quadratic. The methods I know to solve a quadratic, um, factorising, using the formula and complete the square, well, given that my answer has to be to 2dp, two decimal places, that makes me think that actually I can't factorise because the numbers aren't whole number answers. So I'm thinking, use the quadratic formula. OK, let's have a go. Let's see what's going on with this question. Firstly, it doesn't look like a quadratic equals zero. I can only use the quadratic formula when it equals zero. I've got 2x minus 3 squared equals x minus 1x plus 1. My only option, really, is to expand both sides uh, of the equation. So let's have a go. 2x subtract 3 all squared. That means 2x subtract 3 times 2x subtract 3. Now that's equal to x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. Hopefully you'll remember this is a difference of two squares. If ever you've got x plus a, a number, times x minus a, the answer is always x squared subtract a squared. So I can expand this quickly and say this must be x squared subtract 1 squared, which is 1. OK, let's multiply out the left-hand side. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times minus 3 is minus 6x. Minus 3 times 2x is another minus 6x. And minus 3 times minus 3 is a plus 9. That's the left-hand side expanded out. All of that equals x squared minus 1. OK, let's tidy up the left-hand side. This is 4x squared minus 12x is plus 9 equals x squared minus 1. Now remember, to do anything with quadratics, I've got to make one side equal 0. So I'm going to subtract x squared off both sides and add 1 to both sides to make this side equal 0. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing two moves at once. I'm subtracting an x squared and I'm adding 1 to both sides which leaves me with 0 on the right-hand side. But on this side, 4x squared take away x squared is 3x squared minus 12x. Well, no x's are affecting it over here, so you've still got your minus 12x. And plus 9 plus another one is plus 10. OK, quadratic equation equals 0. You want answers to 2dp, so you're thinking use the formula. How do we use our formula? a equals 3, b equals minus 12, c equals 10. That's our a, b and our c. Let's even write down the formula for ourselves in case we forgot. The quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that is our quadratic formula in case we've forgotten. So this is what we're going to be using. Okay, let's have a go. The very first thing I said work out is your b squared minus 4ac. Okay, this is the thing underneath the square root. That means minus 12 squared minus 4 in brackets times 3 times 10. Minus 12 times minus 12, that's 144. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 10 is 120, so this is subtract 120, which is equal to 24. And lastly, I said just square root it, so you've got it nice and handy. Square root b squared minus 4ac is therefore root 24. So what are our x answers? The first one, x is equal to minus b 
a minus minus 12 is a plus 12. Plus, take the plus 1, the square root of 24, all divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. And the other answer is x is equal to 12 minus the square root of 24, all over 6. Tap this into your calculator. To two decimal places, you should get x is equal to 2.82 here. And x equals 1.18 here. There are two solutions. I would substitute back in in an exam just to check they're right. Let's see what the examiner said. 2.82 and 1.18. 2.82, 1.18. Very good indeed. Very well done there. Thank you for watching my video.